Yeah. Hey YouTubers, this is a bonus g video. This is not a gaming video that we're doing. We're and let me put myself on camera because I'm on the camera. We're doing a game called Bowling Hills. I'm not gonna play it. My good buddy Blanky is gonna play this game. So essentially, Bowling Hills is basically a combination between golf and uh, bowling. And I have my ball. So look, the ball actually looks like a golf ball. And look at these characters. You got this cool guy. Mm -hmm. You got a grandpa. You got a gymnast. And you got a karate kid. I like to play as the cool guy. Difficulty standard. Let's go. So, yeah, you'll see why this is called Bowling Hills. So basically what happens is the lanes are like golf courses. Mm -hmm. and you got you to gotta see where all the dips are and stuff like that. You get a good view. And look at that, the, the gutter is water. Yep. Alright, let's see what we can do. So he does not want to roll in the gutter, folks. I love bowling games, too. They're so relaxing. Yeah, and I showed him another one where you actually control the ball. Yeah. You know, I think they could have themed the pins after, like, flags or something. Yeah. I don't know, but, like... I actually have one bar on my camera left, but I'll let you know um, uh, if I can't yeah, film. I think, I think we'll have enough for like one one round. Yeah. Yeah, you can play one whole round. Whoa. Ooh, that was almost a good shot. Ooh. I'm going to turn down this music. Yeah. It's just a bit loud. Like, I like to hear sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Proof that this is a, like a golf course. This has a bunk. This has a sand pit. That's what's unique about this bowling game, folks. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. That was almost good. <laughs> Rodney's thinking about having a tournament at some point. Like, we can do like a game of this at some point. Yeah. Oh, it's too strong a spin. I like how it's water, too. It's like the water hazard. You know what's my favorite bowling game show? Bowling for dollars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Damn. I mean, ever since, I mean, I think I watched Bowling for Dollars about 10 years ago, and I ended up loving it. I watch Bowling for Dollars all day. You know what, we could do like a bowling for dollars in this game at some point. Yes. So, how will we do it? We got like a jackpot? Well, I have my flip well, scoreboard. Yeah. I'm trying to think, because back then, when they did bowling for dollars, they started the jackpot off at $500. The ball totally hit that and it missed. Yes. And I'm trying to think. That was in the 70s and 80s. What would be $500 today, I wonder? I think I think maybe 1000 Probably a lot more than that, right? Well, I mean, th oh, I mean 1000 is a good starter. Yeah. You can increase it by like 2000 maybe. Yeah. I gave it some spin this time. Okay, that was better. Yeah, you almost got a strike. Because the way they did bowling for dollars, folks, they uh, had to get one strike. If they get one strike, then they will be eligible for a second strike. Now, if they get two strikes, they win that jackpot. You know, actually, I'd like to see, I'd like to see someone else attempt a bowling game show, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I, that would be a good watch. Oh, so close. Ooh. Nah. I almost twist that. Uh, also, Rodney, watch this. <laughs> really? Does that even count? Watch <laughs> <laughs> It is. Yeah. They're not going to even count it. Alright. Uh, okay, this one should looks like it, it'll boost me. So if I throw it like that. That's almost there. You got the one, three, ten. A spare, good spare. 
Nice. Very nice. So how much would spares be worth you? And also, I introduced something to Ronnie today called bowling poker. Yeah, tell him about that. So it's essentially a poker game. It's, it's a five-card poker. But what you do is for every strike you get, you pick up two cards. Every spare you get, you pick up one card. And then when you all have cards, you play them. My camera is out, Blanky. We, That's all right. Yeah, but we have yeah, a... Ronnie, we just, oh, we're done this, anyway. So, guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all.